Let us take a look at the fake regathering of the two sticks, Judah and Ephraim. And you, son of man, take a stick for yourself and write on it, for Yehuda and for the children of Israel his companions. Then take another stick and write on it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all of the house of Israel, his companions. Then, bring them together for yourself, into one stick, and they shall become one in your hand. And speak to them, thus said Master Yahuwah, See I am taking the children of Israel from the Gentiles, wherever they have gone, and shall gather them from all around, and I shall bring them into their land. And I shall make them one nation in the land, on the mountains of Israel. And one sovereign shall be sovereign over them all, and let them no longer be two nations, and let them no longer be divided into two reigns. Who is doing this great matter? Yahuwah, the great I am is. Not man. Yahuwah is not only breathing life, the Ruach HaKodesh into the dead bones, but he is also taking the two sticks and making them one. How is this possible? Through the Messiah, Yahushua all believers are adopted into the commonwealth of Israel. All believers make up the body of Messiah Yahushua. The lost sheep of Israel are awaking to the realization that our fathers have indeed inherited lies. Many are returning to Torah, while others realize they need a savior Yahushua. Our nationality and gender does not matter any longer. For we are all one in Messiah. We read in Galatians chapter 3, verses 28 through 29, that there is not Jew, nor Greek, there is not slave nor free, there is not male and female, for you are all one in Messiah Yahushua. And if you are of Messiah, then you are the seed of Abraham, and heirs according to promise. The great counterfeiter is now deceiving vast amounts to make Aliyah to Israel. Many are praying for the door to open for Ephraim to go back to Israel. The door will be open to all those who agree, and abide by the Noahide laws. If you check the Halakha, the Jewish law, it says that any Gentile can live in Israel as long as he keeps the Noahide laws. If a non-Jew is to be accepted to live among the Jewish people in the land of Israel, then that person must keep the Noahide laws. This is how it is, if you are not of Jewish blood, in order for you to live in Israel you must keep, and abide by the Noahide laws. Come with us as we further investigate what these Noahide laws are.